Hello friends, welcome back to Tech Table Tutor. In today's video, you will learn how to create a complete wastage and scrap management tracker in Excel. Perfect for manufacturing businesses, production units, or anyone who wants to track raw material losses efficiently. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. 90% of viewers haven't subscribed yet. Let's begin by creating a structure table. Here are the columns we will use. Date, item name, batch number, issued quantity, used quantity, scrap quantity, wastage percentage, and remarks. This table helps us monitor how much material was issued, how much was used in production, how much scrap was generated, and the percentage of wastage. Now, let's enter some sample data. To calculate the wastage percentage, we will use this formula in the wastage percentage column. Equals to open parenthesis scrap quantity divide by issued quantity close parenthesis multiply 100. This will give us the percentage of scrap generated from the issued material. Apply this formula down the column. Now, let's make the tracker more visual. We will apply conditional formatting to the wastage percentage column to quickly highlight high wastage. Select the wastage percentage column, go to home tab, conditional formatting, choose color scales. Choose a three color scale, green for low, yellow for average and red for high wastage. This helps you instantly spot areas with high or low wastage. Let's make the remarks column easier to fill using a drop down list. Select the remarks column, go to data tab, choose data validation. Under allow section choose list and in source enter normal scrap comma acceptable comma high loss comma needs review. Now, your staff can select predefined remarks from a list, reducing errors and saving time. Want to see a quick monthly summary? Let's use a pivot table. Select your data table, go to insert tab, choose pivot table, select new sheet. In the pivot table field list, drag item name to rows, drag wastage percentage to values, set the aggregation to average. This gives you the average wastage per item which helps you analyze what materials are most prone to losses. Here are a few pro tips for using this tracker in real world production. Always update the data daily or shift wise. Customize drop downs based on your department's SOPs. Use data protection to lock formula columns and prevent accidental edits. Export weekly reports as PDFs. Let's quickly recap. You have learned how to build a structured table, calculate wastage percentage, apply conditional formatting, add drop downs, and even generate a pivot summary all without using VBA. If you found this useful, hit the like button, comment your doubts or suggestions, and subscribe to Tractable Tutor for more practical Excel videos that simplify your work life. So this was Wastage and Scrap Management Tracker in Excel. See you in the next video.